When you use a power meter, you want to use it to manage your watts to an even level when doing long intervals, but also see what your surge watts are when you do a sprint. I've set the Garmin 810 to 3 second filtering, which means that 3 seconds worth of power data is used and averaged. This provides a good level of responsiveness when doing a sprint, but you'll see that the power numbers jump around a bit, which is natural. The new tin is set to the same level of 3 seconds. Let's do a little bit of a ride and see how the units respond. When I start pedaling, after a few seconds both, begin to show a level of power. You'll notice that the power levels jump around a bit because the body cannot produce power at an absolutely even rate. Both units are receiving the same numbers for display, by the way. So try as you might, you'll see some level of surges and variation. But when I sprint, you'll see that the numbers take off immediately. Let's do that. Here we go. Power numbers jump, which is what you'd like to see in a sprint. And when I coast, it'll take about three seconds for the power numbers to drop back to zero. Okay, now let's set the Garmin to 10 second filtering and let's do the same thing with the Newton. Ten second filtering provides a smoother level of display for long intervals, but as you'll see when you surge, you pay a severe price for it. Here we go. The watts come up slowly because it takes ten seconds for all the data to be absorbed into the system. But once we establish an even pace of pedaling, it becomes quite easy to hold a constant level of power. When you're doing training, particularly in long intervals, this is very desirable. Now I'm going to sprint and watch how slowly the units respond. Here we go. It will take 10 full seconds for the power numbers to be displayed, and then when I stop pedaling, it will take another 10 seconds for the power numbers to drop to zero. That is the price you pay for long levels of smoothing. Now I'm going to set the Newton to dynamic power smoothing. This is a ex feature that is exclusive to us and provides the best world of very fast response in sprints, but smooth response when doing long intervals. Here we go. I'll leave the Garmin set at 10 seconds. I take off and of course there's a power surge. The Newton responds instantly and shows my watts even as I start from zero. The Garmin will take 10 seconds to stabilize. I'll hold a constant level of power and both units will settle down nicely, making it possible to hold even levels of power in long intervals. But now when I sprint, there will be a huge difference between the two. Here we go. The Newton jumps instantly and shows my max watts as I sprint. The Garmin is taking 10 full seconds to figure out that I search. And when I stop pedaling, the Newton instantly drops to zero, as it should. The Garmin will take 10 full seconds to let the power drop down to zero.
With dynamic power smoothing, you get the best of both worlds. The ability to hold even watts and intervals, yet see your surge watts in sprints.